Tad's moving forward. Mothers that need apologies from mothers out there. Here's an awful fact for some of you fucking kids who grew up fatherless. Some of y'all grew up fatherless because your mother was trying to prove a fucking point. These are the main bitches that want to be privy to everything but tell you absolutely nothing. These are the bitches that always send a text with my child. You get what I'm saying? Everything is my, 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 my. And you bitches is nothing but a bunch of control freaks and manipulators. You're never inclusive when you make fucking decisions. So that's how niggas know that you really want to do this by yourself. He have just as much say when it comes down to birthdays and graduations and party planning and special occasions and sports events. You ain't the only one who gotta have the fucking final say. It's not about you. It's not about what you want to spend. It's not about where you want to have it at. It's not about what you want the child to wear. It's not about the image that you want to put out there. It's about a team. The only time you want a nigga to come get involved is when you want him to come clean up the mess you created. That's the only time a nigga worthy or deemed worthy to be a fucking father, be a parent. And the only reason why you bitches do that, the only reason why you bitches reach out after many years of withholding the child from the father because the child's behavior is starting to make you look bad. Y'all bitches want to throw around motherfucking narcissistic all day. Let's talk about that. See, niggas hip to you motherfucking bitches. They know why y'all do half the shit that y'all do anyway. This is all about winning for you bitches. It's all about competition. Because y'all too quick to bring it. Y'all too quick to want to bring the fucking bullshit. That's why niggas already know it go. It's never been an even playing field. You always had leverage. That's why you bitches exercise it as soon as you get a motherfucking baby out of a nigga. What I'm so fucked up about is why is it that we want to be praised for failure? Y'all be the main bitches that be out here on social media talking about you expecting a Father's Day card and gift and shit. First of all, this woman is, is like she is talking from experience, okay? This is not somebody who is talking off a hearsay, trying to hold her homeboys down, like just trying to be cool like this is somebody who is talking off of experiencing whether her brother her friend she knows exactly what she's talking about. 